Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get our riding. So we're going to fly down to Budhoof, get our riding, fly back. And when we fly back, we will go to Org, activate our Chromie Time. I just still haven't decided where it is that I want to go with my Chromie Time. I mean, maybe Pandaria. I mean, Pandaria has a lot of easier quests, but the intro quests are hard. But I think once I'm in Pandaria, there's a lot of good stuff that I enjoy a lot from there. Um, I'd have to be 15 to get into Valley of the Four Winds, which is one of my favorite zones. And then Town Long Steps also was phenomenal. I think it'd be fun to go through it again. I mean, that's that's true. It would be a lot of fun to go through uh, Pandaria again. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how safe it is. And I can skip the intro. I can go right to Honeydew Village, I believe. I'm allowed to do that. That would be nice. I don't want to do the intro quest. That would suck. Because they're saying I have available quest now. So I don't even have to do the intro quest. I mean, Broken Isles, I didn't really care for the Broken Isles. I, I really didn't. It wasn't my favorite leveling experience in the world. I didn't care for it much at all. Um, I can't fly to Orgrimmar, I just realized, but that's okay. Um, I can take the Zeppelin. So I'm going to take the Zeppelin because I don't have the flight path. And I just got a mount. So now, let's go here. Just do summon random favorite. And then let me get my uh, Traveler's Tundra Mammoth as well. So that I have all that. How do I get the rest of these? Winter Grasp, I've been working on trying to get that. Uh, Vault of Archivon, I've been working on trying to get that guy. The Grand Ice Mammoth, I believe I'm on, a, on another character I'm exalted with Sons of Hodir. I just need the gold, so that's something I've just been too lazy to do. And that's a Wolfhawk, that's different. True Shot Lodge, which is the Hunter... Class all. Yeah. That sounds right. Hunter class all. Uh, we're going to take this Zeppelin. I just need to remember where it is. It's obviously off of somewhere. Is my I don't have handy notes on, so I don't actually know. So I think a guard can tell me, though. Can you see how clean that was? No fall damage. That was clean. I think you can tell me. Right? You wish to speak? Other continents. I will mark the location. Wait, what? What? What brings you here? We shall. You're gonna tell me where the other continents are? I don't understand how you even mark the location for that. Just realized something. Dark Moon Fair is here. So if I'm correct, you can actually go to Orgamar with the Dark Moon Fair. Uh, Person, right? No, you can't. Alright, so obviously the Zeppelin's not over here. Oh, man, State your on. business. Can take me to the fair staging area? No, you can't. Uh no, you can't. Keep your wits no, you can't. about you. Okay, so then where the heck is this Zeppelin? Well there's obviously only right right here. Spirit Rise probably. It's gotta be Spirit Rise, right? Because over there, there's like one little guy coming out. So it's probably Spirit Rise. I probably need to take the Zeppelin over from uh, over there. Alright, well, let's go to the Spirit Rise and we'll find out. Um, hmm. I'll know for sure when I get over there. Because I only see one way up. Usually it's supposed to be an elevator up and an elevator down. So if that's the case, then uh, we're probably fine. I do want to go into the Pools of Vision since the Zeppelin is not here. I want to say there's a portal in here now. I want to say there's a portal in here now. There probably isn't. There isn't, but I'm glad I checked. Just for some peace of mind. Now I'm not going to be thinking that for a while. Because there's a portal to Thunder Bluff. Uh, from, and I don't know why I'm this, this is faster. Because there's a portal, that mount's way too big. 
There's a portal from... Um, what's the place called? The Great Seal. Um, Dazara Lore. There's a portal from Dazara Lore to Thunderbolt. So you figure there would be a portal back somewhere, but Orgrimmar doesn't have a Thunderbolt portal because there's no point, because they have the Zeppelins to link each other, so I guess it is what it is. I just have to wait for this Zeppelin. So... <sighs> Yeah, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I shouldn't do that again. My only other option is to walk over there, and I'm not walking over there. So that's pretty much what I need to do. So while we wait, um, I do want to show you some of my achievements while we're in it. So um, really what I like to do is, like, keep in mind how far back. So I got Universal Explorer in 2012. And 2012 was, I believe, when Just Cataclysm was out. Uh, if not, then Pandaria was. And then... Northrend, yeah, Pandaria was because it was 2012. And hey, the Zeppelin's here already. And then um, I did a lot of these exploring uh, achievements recently. Almost fell off. Let me just make sure I'm on the Zeppelin. A lot of the exploring achievements I did recently, um, just kind of as completionism stuff. But this one I did uh, in 2012. I did this one in 2008. Um, all these in 2010. I haven't finished this one yet. I did all these in 2010. More in 2010. I'm trying to find out when my oldest achievement was. So far, I've seen something in 2008. Uh, obviously, nothing in Pandaria would be that. Uh, 2008, 2008. Maybe I started in 2008. Maybe I started in 2008. There's 2022 right now, or 2021, almost 2022 right now. So it's like 13, 14 years. That sounds right to me. Uh, what did I do for the Horde? That's like one of the first things I ever did. Where's my for the Horde achievement? I didn't. Oh, it's because I'm not on. I'm not type in for the Horde. I know I did it, bro. Right here. Oh, I did it in 2012? Really? So my oldest stuff is all from 08. Which, is, is 08 when Achievements came out? I think it is. Because obviously I've been playing since before Achievements were a thing. So now that makes sense. So I've probably been playing like 15, 16 years. Because Achievements came out in Wrath of the Lich King and I played in Burning Crusade. So yeah, I've probably been playing 15 or 16 years. Do these feats of strength have original um, dates on them or not? I could find out. I got a Celestial Steed in Wrath of the Lich King as well. And it's got me listed as getting a Celestial Steed. Never mind. That's for promotion and stuff, yeah. Wow anniversaries. 10 27, 2008. That might be it, because obviously achievements didn't exist before then. So I'm wondering if there's any other evidence on my account that would show me how long I've actually had all of this data. That's what I'm interested in finding out. And I've, I, and I've transferred over a few of my uh, characters recently to get all those achievements updated properly and all the stats updated properly because this is a different account because when battle.net when wow had the thing where they where you had to make a battle.net account instead of a just a wow account when they did that transfer thing i had to start a new account and i transferred over all the characters that i did made significant progress on but there's still a couple over there on that old server i think they switched the battle.net like halfway through wrath or something which is around when i quit and then i came back near the end of wrath so that sounds right to me so I don't know, to be honest with you. That's an interesting thing to think about in terms of when exactly achievements were turned on and which ones I'm missing. Um, I didn't really make a lot of progress in BFA. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't an achievement like monkey. I did play a lot of hours in BFA. I mean, my slash played. Here, let's turn on my altaholic so you guys can see my played um, altaholic. Let's turn all this on so you guys can see all my stuff. Oops, I messed up. Let me turn that on. Dependency disabled? Oh, because data store. Data store is the same thing. So let's turn these on. And is it on now? No, it's still not on, so I messed up. Where's the original one? The one I actually need. Does it not exist? Do I not have the original? Oh, it's this one. For whatever reason, that one's what I need. But anyway, um, 
10,037 levels across all my characters, 31 characters on 9 different realms, 191,000 gold total, and I have a 237 day uh, slash play. So I've played this game for a total of 237 days worth of hours. So let's break this down, right? So 237 days of hours. 237 days. I'm going to time that by 24 hours. That's 5,688 hours, right? If I break it down again by 60 minutes in an hour, that's 341,000 minutes, 60 seconds in a minute. That is 20,476 seconds. 237 days, right? So I'm 23 years old plus four months, five months. What is it? December six plus three months. So 23 plus three months, uh, 23 times uh, 12 is 276. And then I want to add three more. So 279, right? So 279 months. Um, there are, let's say on average 30 days in a month because you got short things like February and so on. Let's say on average 30 days in a month, right? Hold on. I was trying to find out how much of my life I've used, right? So what was that number again? Uh, 23 times, or sorry, 12 times 23 is how many months? Yes. 276 total months in all of my life, right? And if you look at 237 days, 276 total months I've been alive. 236 days is how many months? 236, let me write this 276 number down. This is math time, this is math time right now. I don't have a pen, I don't have anything. Okay, I'm gonna remember 276, okay? Hold on, hold on. I have a chat box for a minute, for a reason. 276, there, I wrote it down. Okay, so 276 is how many months there have been in my entire life, right? So, I'm gonna take 237 days played, right? 237 days played, there's about 31 days in a month, right? Uh, 30. I'll say 30 on average because of stuff like February, right? So that's 7.9. So 7.9 divided by 276 tells me I've played WoW for 2% of my entire life. So 2% of my entire life has been WoW, which is actually not as much as I expected. I know there's people out there that have done it for like way, way, way longer, but I will actually take that. It could be a lot worse, but it really isn't. Now, what's nice about the Dark Moon Fair existing is you get an automatic uh, port to Thunder Bluff anytime you need it. So that really, really helps. I'm going to grab this flight path right here as well, and I am not jumping down. I'm taking the uh, elevator all day long. I'm not taking any risks. Now, I'm here to get my chromy time set up, but I also want to take a look at the leather armor vendor real quick as well, which will significantly help me out because I need to get the best set of white gear I can possibly get because I'm not getting any new gear that isn't gray anytime soon. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to get to like level 20, 25 or so, and then I'll come look and see if we can get some more vendor gear after that. But that's it. That's completely it. And I might look at the auction house. I, again, I can buy stuff off the auction house. I can sell stuff off the auction house. That is something that I'm allowed to do. So in the right time, I'll make sure that happens. And, I'm, and this is actually a cross-realm trade chat because of how poor the population is. I can't believe that's the case, but what it are you is. Looking for? All right, so is, are any of these upgrades? This is, hold on, Strength. before I do that, usually this Strength. armor Strength. merchant has better stuff, and I'm right, right? Yes. Boom, boom, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. Probably should have gone for the pants. Pants would have been a better upgrade. What about that belt I bought that I didn't need? Can't get the pants. Right, hold on, put on the gear, right? Put on the gear. It's not gonna work. I need the pants. Pants would have been a big upgrade. That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna sell some stuff on the auction house for a reason. We'll post it. And um, once I post these auctions, I will get started on this again tomorrow. So I made some progress. Uh, level 11 in the first day of me um, doing this challenge. My slash played right now is at just two hours and 23 minutes so things could be a lot worse i've been making some pretty good progress i mean level 10 level 11 and two hours is fast it's not going to be this fast forever 
So I just have to tell myself that it's going to get challenging and I need to keep myself in the mindset of making the right decision. I, like that. I think that's the absolute largest thing I have to get into my head is that I can't make the wrong choice. I have to, no matter what, make the right one. Um, I have to make sure that I keep myself safe. I have to make sure I save the easiest quest for later. I have to keep myself in check in regards to that. And I think I can do a pretty good job at that. Just have to make sure that's that that's always in my head. It's always in my head to be safe. Make sure that I'm not doing anything stupid to get my character killed. Because once he's killed, you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and log out here in Gromush Hold. Uh, I didn't actually know that they redid Gromush Hold, but they did with uh, Sarfang, who's dead. Why is he in here? Uh, game? Sarfang literally died in front of Orgrimmar. And he's saying, don't defy the war chief. What? Because I know when Sylvanas died, they did that. Whatever. I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna log out of here. Thank you so much.